for people who don't know, because I think a lot of people probably assumed you were independent this whole time because you moved around like an independent artist. Yeah. But you were on Atlantic for how Which many years? saved my life forever. Um, but the thing is, and this is the thing with a lot of people, because I had somebody argue with me recently like, um, oh, well, you were on a label so you can't talk. And it's like, actually, being shelved on a label is worse than being independent. I promise you, no, the <laughs> label never did shit for you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, being shelved on a label is actually way worse than doing it on your own because... I couldn't drop music. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't upload to uh, like something that DSPs. Yeah. It's $10 to upload on TuneCore. I couldn't even do that. So now I'm dealing with, I could be in breach of contract. I could do it like all these different things going on and I'm uploading to YouTube because it's safe, but you know, but then, so I'm being seen as an artist, but not really being able to drop music. So you can't, I'm not mo- getting the you, you really can't monetize what you're which, like, you it know, it was bad, bro. I didn't have, there was times when I was broke as fuck. And like, literally I just, tr- I, I let the world not know that because I was just like, yo, that'll be the end of my career. If I literally let people know how bad I'm fucking doing. But at the same time, I, I had my, my, you know, my marriage or whatever to mm-hmm. pay bills or whatever. I never had, I wasn't, I never did no questionable shit because like, I'm a hard worker, bro. I'll fucking work at the grocery store if I need to. Like, right. I don't give a fuck, you know? Um, so to me, I moved how I needed to move and I gave Atlantic their their due respect for giving me an opportunity I, like I've said before I don't I don't say that they fucking ruined my life or anything I think part of it was like I should have known when to leave I, I shouldn't have given it the the time I did you know like same thing with friends sometimes like or a relationship like yeah, yeah, yeah. you knew when it was time to go and you stuck around with the hopes of shit getting better you know or like you were like damn like you know one time I remember I was gonna when I wrote this song called I don't want to leave I was crying when I wrote that. I literally was like about to leave Atlantic and I literally named the song I Don't Want to Leave because I was like, I signed to this thinking that I was going to represent for my culture and for my family and I was going to be put on this platform where I could fucking... No, not even a pedestal for me, a platform for me to be able to speak on something that hasn't been... On a a large scale. 